we use a what matters to me approach and to make sure that the young person is at the center of their care and well-being as they are the experts not us target group for this intervention is um, 11 to 18 year olds uh, that live in Tower Hamlets or can access Tower Hamlets services quite easily um, and the two cohorts are young people under haematology or with medically unexplained symptoms and they'll be identified by their consultant or clinical nurse specialist and then refer to the service. Thanks to Bart's charity we're able to roll this out for a year um, and try it out. It's nice to have social prescribers based within the Royal London because it's just a lot easier to get in contact with them and refer patients in. Generally, I think we are able to meet all of the clinical needs for patients. We've got lots of people involved in patient care from the allied health professionals of speech and language therapists and pharmacists and all those things. So we've got the clinical side covered, but having social prescribers involved is like an added spoke in the wheel. So they're able to meet the needs of the patients that are in the community so that we're able to meet our patients' needs a bit more holistically. I, th I think it's great having social prescribing link workers based in the hospital because as, as part of the multidisciplinary team, they are able to see things or sort of like look at things from a different perspective from the medical or the nursing staff. So they are able to identify if a child needs something rather than medical intervention uh, in order to build their confidence or to even learn how to manage their condition, engage in activities that would help with their condition. So with the hospital, obviously a lot of young people with their long-term health conditions come into hospital, um, even if they are outpatients, to see their consultants, their clinical nurse specialists, whoever it may be. And being here and being present and accessible is really important. From my role as a clinical nurse specialist, uh, we do have a lot of interaction with the young people and their families. We we learn, we get to know them on a on a different level than maybe say the consultants or the medical team. So we are able to identify what needs that they may have, but also they they are able to trust us and ask make requests for other things or other activities that is not just medical. I think the m biggest impact would just be that um, that children and young people feel supported and that they have a safe space and that they have somewhere to be creative or sporty or chat to a friend or play some video games, whatever they're into, somewhere that's friendly and accessible and just to make sure that they aren't feeling excluded and that um, you know, if they've got they've got to talk to someone about something, they know where to go. So I've referred some patients who um, maybe looked like they were lacking in a bit of confidence or seemed a little bit withdrawn. I've had another patient that I referred because they were interested in finding out more about their career opportunities and wanted to gain a bit more confidence in interview technique and applying for jobs and thinking more about their career planning and career path and things because they just finished their GCSEs. Um, I'm sure that social prescribing will widen our patients' horizons of what is available to them and in terms of activities, maybe they'll find some new hobbies or interests um, that they didn't know that they had before. We're here to help them and make sure that they are involved in their community and are aware of services that they might be needing. I also hope that they will be able to gain more confidence in their own abilities and what they're able to do and achieve. Um, and hopefully that will lead to them taking better ownership of their health um, and especially as they transition into adulthood. I hope that social prescribing will become part of the day-to-day -day, uh, management of children with complex conditions.